okay guys uh, welcome again to my channel before you drill a well or consider to be a uh, serious uh, driller check first the advantage of a percussion drilling machine the question that we left in the part one video is uh, what are the basic design computation of the machine that can mimic the process of the manual drillers where the gravity is the main driving force what motor rating can be used or what horsepower of an electric motor that can be installed we need the newton's law of motion of course to arrive to a horsepower rating to a particular weight of the hammer bit we need to compute the time angular velocity or rpm force and then torque so uh, there is a bunch of tutorials in youtube teaching the power to torque relationship and its uh, formula it's uh, very educational but the, the only common application they have is piston maybe piston is complaining because he's tired already driving an automobile and then he been always used in youtube presentation which automobile industry will only benefit but in this video you will see the actual application of gravity rpm pulley ratio force torque and horsepower all in one in poor man's percussion drilling machine I think uh, this video can be helpful for a student spark their interest in physical physics because the application of torque to horsepower is uh, very obvious as I promise uh, I will uh, discuss the basic design computation first uh, we have the basic presentation of load to electric motor application to some of us uh, who, was a, who was the subject of physics in school knows this one one horsepower is equals to 746 watt and uh, it can lift almost 550 pounds as you can see here uh, we will not include the friction in our computation from water downside rock formation pulley and other external forces we will leave uh, friction uh, to an expert to compute but uh, in drilling application the situation is uh, much different it's complicated than horse where it can uh, not release the load on its own and pull the load again so we need to improvise our goal first is to lift the hammering bit that weighs 35 kg which is equivalent to 77 pounds where it can mimic the process of the manual drillers they just uh, pulling the bit up and releasing it of course uh, they must wait first the hammering bit settle down before they will uh, pull it up again and the process will continue again and again so that we can visualize what is happening downside this presentation and video clip will help first as you notice uh, there is a rope allowance at steady state for almost 50 centimeter that is our working distance that we will drill and uh, this working distance will diminish in time because the rock formation will be drilled by percussion and uh, when the machine starts to turn the metal pusher collar block will push the lever arm so that the rope allowance will stretch out in this position and at 45 degree position the hammering bit starts to go up until it reaches to the longest pulling position which is almost one meter from the ground to the bit but in this position the hammering bit starts to go down because the lever arm is freewheeling with the influence of the weight and the gravity of the bit so the reaction is boom and the process will continue until we remove the rock formation downside this is the idea of a poor man's purse. so the important thing we need to know is the time when the hammer bit hit the ground so the formula is time is equal to the square root of 2 times distance over gravity which is approximately 0.5 seconds the second important thing is the rotational time 
of the metal pusher when it will starts to pull the hammering bit up again. In this machine I use 35 revolutions per minute and later you will see why I use 35 rpm. So uh, if we will uh, convert it into seconds, it is equivalent to 0 0.58 revolutions per second. And the time per one revolution is equals to 1.71 seconds per revolution. So at half cycle, it is equals to 0 0.86 seconds, which is the red portion. So I emphasize the half cycle because it is the time when the hammer bit hit the ground. So the harmony of pulling and releasing of bit exists. As you imagine in this data, if we design a 60 revolution machine, the time at half cycle is equals to 0 0.5 seconds. So the tendency of the rope will be stressed out with a trembling effect because the hammer bit did not settle down first. So the harmony of pulling and releasing of the hammer bit was not achieved. So the important thing is the rotational time at half cycle must be longer than the gravity of the bit or the time the hammer bit hit the ground. So the ideal rotation is 35 rpm or less. If you can make it to 25 rpm, the better. The next question is how to make a 35 rpm machine or less. So the answer is we need to make the diameter of the sheave pulley larger so that uh, we can achieve a slower angular velocity or, or rpm. Before buying any shiv pulley, check this app first. Pulley calculator, a very good app which is helpful for our project. You just uh, input the diameter of the shiv pulley, then it will animate or calculate the desired RPM. I plan to have a slower RPM, maybe 25, but with monetary constraint, I settled with the 35 RPM because the price of the large diameter sheave pulley is high. So in the checklist, uh, we already finished uh, three topics. Next, uh, the force. So the force describes the push or pull of an object due to a phenomenon such as gravity. So the formula is uh, force is equals mass times the gravity. So 35 kg times 9.8 meters per second squared is equals to 343 Newton. Note the, that uh, the circular path of our lever arm in this machine is 0 0.7 meters of radius. With that data, we can compute the torque. So torque is defined as the moment of force, rotational force, or the turning effect is equals to radius times force. So it is equals to 240 Newton meter. With that data, we can compute the power and the formula of power is equals to torque times the angular velocity. So if we, co if we convert it to RPM, then power is equals to torque times pi times speed in RPM over 30. We substitute our data. The equivalent power in watts is 880 watts or 1.2 horsepower in load side. So the supply to have a pulling effect. So we can use 1.5 horsepower motor. So uh, you can use also a 2 horsepower motor so that uh, the efficiency is uh, much higher. We must also consider the friction uh, or other external forces. If we analyze the formula of power, it is directly proportional to the weight, the radius and the RPM. So reducing the RPM can make the input of electric motor reduce and by adding additional weight like 50 kg then higher horsepower rating of electric motor will be installed depend on your application and budget. I hope I gave you some insight on fabricating a simple percussion drilling. So the product of our design is this. Basically, the machine runs to the, pin to the principle of uh, gravity. So the, the hand is a free 
three wheeling and it was pushed by the angle bar and it will, the force was gravity so basically it serves the purpose cannot uh, anymore buy uh, expensive, expensive machines a lot of contractors do it. It is a... Uh, uh, the machine is not... Uh, so that the machine will not be very hard. And uh, it is... It will have a... flow. Smooth flow with the revelation and the gravity. The last question is how can we pull the hammering bit up with this machine when we change it into a bait? That will be the part 3 of our video. So uh, stay tuned because I want to bring some other application. Poor man's percussion drilling machine. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, like so that you can help this channel uh, develop better presentation and animation so thanks for watching guys